What is going on, Sheep Army? This is your boy Random Arts coming with a quick video. And on this video, guys, we're going to be talking about Bone Shiba Swap Token. I've been getting this question asked of me for the past week or so from multiple different people, um, different handles from Twitter to the YouTube comments. The same question over and over. So I thought I'd make a video. And that's normally my rule. If I see multiple people are asking the same question, then I think I have to address it. Uh, just because it seemed like that's something you guys are interested in. So before I dive too deeply into this video, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and I definitely love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about Bone. So Bone, as it currently stands right now, is sitting at 60 cents. So my price target, and really that was the question, like where do I think Bone is going to be at in 2024, 2025? So for me, I think that bone is going to reach $100 or more. I get a lot of people always fighting and saying this and that. It's never going to get there. It's not realistic, blah, blah, blah. Like, calm down. You know, I'm going to explain it to you guys in this video. And I make countless videos explaining my explanation as far as why I think $100 or more is a realistic outcome uh, for bone. Because all it is, guys, again, it just goes back to supply and demand. Like, I try to keep things as simple as possible when it, whenever I'm looking at crypto assets. Supply and demand, supply and demand. And this is why I always say supply and demand. But these things have to happen because Bone is not just going to magically just get to $100. So it, it, there's other stuff in the background that has to happen. So if, again, these price prediction, there's always an if with it. So if these things happen, then Bone is going to reach $100. So the first thing that I would say is, and I think we're doing a pretty good job as far as getting the circulating supply of Bone currently down. Um, as it stands right now, circulating supply for Bone of what's currently out in the open market is a hundred between 160 million to 170 million bone that's currently being circulated so i think we should get this number down so if we're able to get this number down somewhere close to a you know 100 million or below that's going to put us in a very very good position so this is the number that we need to strive for as far as uh getting the circulating supply down and one easy way of doing this, guys, is getting your tokens off these centralized exchanges and putting it onto uh, the layer two, essentially. So if we start seeing more people bridging their token from the layer one, going over to the layer two is going to automatically take away some of these circulating supplies. So this is what we want to see. Now, a part of, you know, something that's going to help out is Shiba Swap 2.0. At least that's what I'm hoping. Now, it's not guaranteed set in stone that it is going to help, but if we're using based upon past history, as far as with the liquidity event that happened with Shiba Swap, um, you know, when that first came out, um, then if we're able to generate even half of that or even, uh, you know, 30% of that, then I think we're going to be in a good place. Right now, I'm just only striving just to, for a TVL as far as on Shibarium, just to be at 50 million or more. So whenever these tokens are coming on ShibaSwap 2.0, they're gonna automatically be bridged from the layer one, getting over to layer two. So ShibaSwap 2.0 is gonna have a major impact on Bone as far as with the circulating supply. Because less token that's in the layer one, decrease the amount that's on the, um, that's on the circulating supply. So with a higher TVL or more token that's being taken from the layer one to layer two, then we're gonna get that accomplished. So not only that, I wanna see more pairings as far as more tokens uh, or more projects being built on Shibaria. So this is another thing that has to happen. You know, we have pretty good projects and we are steady going up. But if you take a look as far as like liquidity of how much some of the projects have, um, it's not that much when you compare to other chains. And this is and this has been my, you know, my biggest takeaway that I've been saying or the biggest thing that I've been saying, like we need to see um, TVL 
or projects that as far as liquidity of over a million dollars or even in the at least the six figures like if we're able to see that then that's gonna you know pretty much put more pressure on on the price of bone because less tokens is going to be on the layer one because remember these tokens that's all right here they're all on the layer two so it always goes back to getting tokens from the layer one getting it over to the layer two so that's helping out on the supply side and when it comes to crypto guys it's super simple as far as just like not try to overcomplicate thing all it is guys is supply and demand supply and demand so what is causing the supply to be able to shrink getting these tokens from the layer one over to the layer two more lp bigger tvl um shiba swap supposed to do it the metaverse so now these are some of the plays that's coming on and people are coming onto layer two just to be active onto it that decrease the amount of bone remember that's on the layer one which is the circulate supply then we just couple that in with a big centralized listing such as a binance or a coinbase or ideally both because the centralized exchange that's gonna that's represent volume because volume when if you take a look at any crypto project as far as like where most of the volume is coming from it normally comes from centralized exchanges so i mean unfortunately i wish it would have come from decentralized exchanges but unfortunately it's come from centralized exchanges so this is why those listings are important so and we know what type of market it is so once we have binance coinbase on board it is a monkey see monkey do uh type of you know that's what crypto is one exchange see another exchange does it then they're going to turn around and do it as well so it's just going to be a whole chain reaction and this is why you know in the early days we saw a lot of run-up because a lot of people weren't there you know when the run-up was happening on on shiba inu because you know for a while a lot of people were down on their position you know on shiba and let me get that pulled up as far as with the chart but then we started slowly seeing kind of like what we're seeing right now we're, we started seeing uh more exchanges started picking up shiba then you know from more exchanges and eventually we got the coinbase then once the coinbase uh happened consolidate a little bit more then boom we had this big parabolic move on the way up so just keep in mind these are some of the stuff that needs to happen so to sum it all up you know keep it real simple if we see more tokens as far as that's on the layer one going bridging over and going over to the layer two then as well as getting big centralized listings then we should be in a good place because looking at how much tokens is currently on the layer two right now um is roughly at least from the bridging wallet which is roughly 3.7 million bones so if we could see you know like 60 or 80 even 100 million bone on this bridging contract then we'll be in a really good place so hopefully that makes sense to you guys um i think it's gonna happen you know in the future because the same thing that happened for solana when it was sub a dollar solana at one point in time back in 2020 was sitting at 61 cents guys so and then, you know people were saying the same thing that they're saying right now like nobody's interested in solana you know and for roughly a whole year after their blockchain came out it really wasn't doing nothing until it started doing something bnb i was here i had bnb uh when it was sub a dollar you know i was i was buying bnb when it was sub a dollar same thing like nobody if anybody said they thought the bnb was going to be over a hundred dollars you know probably one or maybe not even a handful of people could sit here and say yeah yep i knew it was going to be over a hundred dollars no you, you don't so i know a lot of people worry about the public opinion as far as like what what they feel like bone is going to do 
the public opinion, which is the 90% of the traders that typically lose, they're not the ones that I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about in, uh, institutional investors as far as like how they're viewing the, the, you know, bone as well as exchanges. So we have coin, well, we don't have, I'm sorry. We have, uh, crypto.com on board, which is a big centralized exchange. So I know other big centralized exchanges are going to come. So let me know guys in the comment down below your thoughts, your opinion about all this. Hopefully this answered the question for you guys. Um, if not, leave a comment down below. I'll try to do my best to be able to answer. But Random Art signing off. Peace.